Hey guys, Dave Altizer, nerd creative born in the 90s. Welcome to my first unboxing video. This is the MacBook Pro 13 inch without touch bar. I'm a filmmaker, camera nerd, Apple geek, and storyteller, and I've been using the MacBook Air for the last year and a half now for all my work. I love how thin it is. I love how light it is. And I kind of like the fact that it's an underpowered machine. One of my favorite guitar players, Jack White said once, he uses crappy guitars on purpose because he enjoys the process of trying to make it sound good. I keep it uh, guitars that are, you know, the neck's a little bit bent and they settle a bit out of tune. And I want to work and battle it and conquer it and, and make it express whatever attitude I have at that moment. I, I want it to be a struggle. I don't know if that metaphor relates completely to uh, the MacBook Air, but I, I kind of had that attitude about it. I really think the MacBook Air is probably still one of the greatest uh, computers ever made. Walt Mossberg is a huge fan of it. Hey! The screen on it is okay. It's not retina. Look at the viewing angle on this thing. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Unbelievable battery life. One of my favorite things about this computer. I think one of the reasons why the uh, battery life was so good is because the screen was so uh, terrible. It, it didn't really take up that much power to power the screen. This computer really is kind of like a trophy for Apple fans. I was a senior in high school when uh, the MacBook Air was released, January 2008. And I remember watching that keynote when Steve took the computer out of the manila envelope. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. At the time, the MacBook Air was the thinnest laptop in the world. The original MacBook Air was no cheap computer either. It was almost $1,800 at the uh, starting price. So at the time, it was an expensive computer, but man, was it cool. I'm gonna miss this thing. It's been a really fun computer to have, but I think that the new MacBook Pro 13 inch will be a good successor. Successor. When Apple announced the new MacBook Pros in 2016, I was a little confused. I thought the prices were a little too expensive. I don't care about the touch bar. And so I, I kind of waited and just wanted to see what people thought. I also couldn't really afford a 15 inch uh, model. I also don't really like the 15 inch. I think it's too big, especially using the Air for the last year and a half now. I wanted something that was comparable in size. So that led me down to the 13 inch. Here they are back to back, MacBook Air on the left. MacBook Pro on the right. The MacBook Pro is smaller, but better in every way. The touch bar technology that's on the 13 and 15 inch uh, models of the MacBook Pro are essentially the exact same tech that's in my Apple Watch. It's using the same board and a similar OLED display. And if you look at the price, you can actually see it. It, it makes sense. The 15 inch has better video cards, better graphics, but honestly, I seriously have been getting away with using this computer for almost anything over the last year and a half. Like I said, Adobe After Effects projects, Apple Motion projects in full 3D, um, Final Cut Pro X, uh, 4K edits, multicams. This thing has been fine for the most part. It's just been a little sluggish once I start adding more and more things. And if I'm trying to turn around things really fast, I really do need a little bit faster computer. I still couldn't justify paying the full price. And so what I did is I went on eBay and found a slightly used MacBook Pro 13 inch. Got it for $1,200 and here it is. I just bought a USB-C to digital AV multi-port adapter. I just call it a dongle. Apple doesn't want to call it a dongle because dongle is a funny word. Dongle, 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 D -d -d dongle. But before I cut open this box, I'm gonna read you a verse of the day. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Pretty cool scripture. All right, I'm, <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am to open this thing. I literally have been waiting like three days until I had time to shoot this. Um, 
here we go. I'd like to thank Jordan Bona for sending me uh, your old MacBook Pro. I don't see a I don't see a pull tab on here, so. Okay, I'm just gonna rip it. Wow. Man, that's a... So we got the uh, 13 inch space gray. Eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte hard drive, a 2.0 gigahertz Intel Core i5, Iris graphics 540, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a headphone jack, backlit keyboard, love it, love it. Ah, they've even got the old Apple Macintosh logo. The box looks like it's in good condition. Uh, here we go, unboxing. Man, Johnny I've just designs these boxes so well, there's not an inch to spare. There it is. My used $1,200 brand new, wait, that's like an oxymoron. New to me, MacBook Pro 13 inch without touch bar because I don't want a touch bar. I don't want to pay $300 for something I don't need. Thanks again, uh, Jordan from uh, eBay. Look at that. Apple always has the most thought out designs. Nice little pull tab. We got new MacBook Pro paperwork. Yep, he gave me two stickers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Hey, if anybody wants a sticker, let me know in the comments, I'll send you a sticker. Yeah. Paperwork. Interesting they talk about the airport time capsule in the uh, paperwork here. It's really weird because I've heard rumors that they're gonna get out of the router business. So it's odd that they would put that in the paperwork that may negate the whole rumors that they're getting out of it, honestly. If they're putting that in the paperwork of a 2016 model, then that means that they're dedicated to it. Ugh, I hope that doesn't have a short in it. <laughs> this is the new charging cable. New charger with the USB-C port on it and a eyelash from Jordan. I appreciate that. <sighs> I guess I could have cloned him if I wanted to. Here we go. Such a beautiful design, wow. Obviously the Air has a thinner, a thinner front, but it's only kind of an optical illusion. They really feel about the same. They both weigh the same. As you can see, there's no ports other than a headphone jack on this side. My two USB-C ports on this side. It's got that nice clicky feel that the lightning port gives you. And that's nice and secure. I am gonna miss the uh, little green light that turns on and off. That was really nice to just know like if your computer's charging in the middle of the night. I might need to buy a new cable, honestly. That that's not acceptable for me. Um, I like my cables to be perfect. And uh, that, yeah, this might be my backup. I might have to go to the Apple store and buy a new cable. Very nice, again, he's included the uh, thingy. It looks like the, it looks like the keys are actually a little bit bigger than the Air which really is a, a bad thing. I think they're a little fatter. Ooh. Man, it feels great. You got this nice hinge here. I am really impressed. I love this massive trackpad on here. I mean, look at the trackpad difference. Look at that. And it is almost as big as my iPhone. I'm so glad that I don't have a uh, touch bar. This is so great. I, um, I wish it was matte black. Like, like my new uh, iPhone 7. I think this is the coolest, uh, most beautiful color that Apple's ever done. Um, I wish that this was that color, maybe next year. So yeah, man, this is it. This is the MacBook Pro. I will do a review on it, uh, comparing um, what I'm used to with the MacBook Air with the new MacBook Pro uh, once I have it for a while, but Right now, I am happy that I have this. Um, with that, I will say that 
Um, even though this MacBook Pro makes me really happy right now, you only get true fulfillment through Christ Jesus. Thanks a lot. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. See you soon. P-A-S-E. -E. Please. At U B S C O I B E. Subscribe to at Y. My YouTube channel. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A